today's video is all about cold water beneficial bacteria. So what we've got here is we've got one of the ponds that we built about three years ago now and I've come out to do some maintenance in the winter. It's February, no it's not, <laughs> it's December. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Mark from anypond.com, we're a trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And today I'm at this koi pond because I'm doing some winter maintenance. So what we're doing is we're basically just making sure that the filtration system is nice and clean, making sure that the skimmers are okay. In the UK we don't have to switch the ecosystem ponds off, but what we actually do is we turn flow rates and stuff down and make sure that everything's okay. When the water temperature gets below sort of like 10 degrees or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, then you should stop thinking or start thinking about not feeding the fish. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't stop doing maintenance. So today's video is all about the cold water beneficial bacteria that we put into the ponds that will carry on working all the time that the pond is not frozen. So when you're treating a pond with beneficial bacteria, the normal beneficial bacteria, they are warmer strain, where in the cold water beneficial bacteria strains, it's much better because they're actually specifically designed to work in colder temperatures. So what we've got here is we've got two different types of product. We've got the normal beneficial bacteria cold water, and then we've got the professional grade cold water beneficial bacteria. So this is more of a DIY domestic grade and as you can see it comes in a real handy bottle about half a litre. This whole container does about 37,800 litres of water. So the professional grade is for ponds this sort of side because what you would need with the pump top bottle for this size pond that's about three and a half thousand gallons you would need about 35 pumps of this. So rather than doing 35 pumps, I'm actually going to use the professional grade. So what I'll do is I'll set you on the table now and we'll measure out this for this particular koi pond here in the UK. So let's set you up. This particular cold water beneficial bacteria can be used on smaller ponds. One pump will do 100 US gallons or 378 litres of water. 35 would be about three and a half thousand gallons. But what we're going to use today is we're going to use the professional grade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the measuring cup. On this particular measuring cup, you can see on the side that it actually says the amount of dose. So there's a lovely sticker on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three and a half thousand gallons. So we'll actually fill it up to there. So that's really good, rather than having to work out how much. So I'm gonna pour that in now. So it's three and a half thousand gallons. I'm gonna give it a shake. Three and a half thousand gallons. So this is how to apply cold water bacteria. As you can see, I've filled it up to the three and a half thousand gallons. And what you want to do is you want to put it into an area of real good circulation. So I'm just going to put it in front of the skimmer box on this particular pond. Come and have a look now. So as you can see that that was easy. Now, with these particular beneficial bacteria, what you want to do is you want to treat the pond as soon as the water gets below 10 degrees or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you're starting to think about stopping feeding the fish, then you start thinking about adding the cold water beneficial bacteria. It relieves ammonia, nitrite, nitrates, the pond waste in the actual pond itself where you can't actually physically get. 
you know, so if you're netting stuff out, obviously this pond is particularly clean because we've got the skimmer and we've got a wetland filtration system. Do you 100% need to put beneficial bacteria into a pond like this? No, you don't 100% need to put beneficial bacteria into a pond, but it eases the pond maintenance for you. So sending in an army of beneficial bacteria is they can get to the bugs and they can get to the places where you can't. So yes, it's definitely a real good thing, providing you've got enough oxygen. If you've not got any oxygen, so if you've got a pond literally that's still, no filtration, no aeration, no pumps, no mechanical filtration or anything like that, can you support a pond on pure beneficial bacteria? Yes, it will help when you add pumps, circulation, it works a lot better because then the beneficial bacteria is being pumped right around the system and they're not having to find other places. So when you've got low flow or low circulation, you might have lots of connollies of bacteria in a localized spot, but when they um, outcompete themselves, when they starve themselves, when they've removed all the ammonia, when they've removed all the nitrates, when they've removed it all, they start to die off. They don't go, let's go and find some, there's some food over here. When, when you've got circulation, then they're forced to go and find in another place. So you might be asking, why, what is the difference between the professional grade and the, the normal cold water beneficial bacteria? Well, the normal cold water beneficial bacteria is less concentrated. Yes, it's cheaper um, and it comes in the smaller bottles where the professional grade, it's more designed for pond contractors like myself or large pond owners and the beneficial bacteria in there. Uh, you get about four and a half billion bugs per 30 mil of the treatment. So we've just sent in billions and billions of bacteria in the pond to help clean it for us. And it also improves the color of the fish because there's um, other bits and pieces in the actual cold water treatment. As you can see, I'm shivering, it's cold. Got my thermals on, I've got my hat on because it is quite cold. We're actually due for some snow at the moment. So I thought it would be a great video to do for cold water beneficial bacteria. Hopefully when we talk about other strains of bacteria, it will be in the, in the summer months. So let's just think about this. When do you transition from cold water bacteria to normal bacteria? Well, the normal bacteria will work down to um, a zero level or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's not as effective as the cold water beneficial bacteria. So yes, it does work down to those temperatures, but it's not as effective. So as soon as the water temperature gets below 10 degrees and you stop feeding the fish, you start thinking about other things, then you need to start thinking about the cold water beneficial bacteria. And what you do is you treat it twice a week for the first two weeks when it gets below 10 degrees and then once a week for the rest of the winter, autumn and spring until it starts getting up to sort of like temperature. When I say when it's starting to get up to, to temperature, around about five degrees is when you can sort of like put a bit more in cold water beneficial bacteria. And then what I would do is swap back over either once you've used all the beneficial bacteria in the cold water treatments, and then you go on to the, the normal strains, either that or when the water temperature is up, when the fish is starting to feed, so it's about 10 degrees. Um, and that's nighttime temperatures, not daytime temperatures. So you might have you know, like 15 degrees in middle of March, where actually the nighttime temperatures are still sort of like five, six degrees. So that's a lot of information. Hopefully you've stayed around. Thank you for your time. Um, I do appreciate it. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. All of the comments mean the world. And if you're not subscribed and you don't have an account, that's okay. I just thank you for your time watching the videos. So my name is Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you. Dream, plan, and enjoy ponds and water features. I'll see you in the next video.